The Black Man Simulator is a device that I designed to transfer experiences from one person to another. So the inspiration for the Black Man Simulator came to me after a conversation with friends. It was shortly after the deaths of several black individuals in the nation and we were discussing the tragedies and instantaneously the group uh, started discussing racism and racism being the cause of these tragedies. Um, but I had another idea, I had another opinion, another theory where maybe it's a lack of understanding, maybe it's a lack of empathy, a lack of compassion um, that are at the root of these tragedies. So I came up with the idea of creating a virtual environment, um, somehow placing other individuals in this virtual environment in a scenario would would be common to a black man. What the black man simulator means to me is that I've, I have an opportunity to utilize the skills and the education I uh, have gained um, through grad school and through working at Lockheed Martin to utilize virtual reality products and apply them in a social manner in a manner, in a sense, where I can create experiences based on um, a, a black man, day in the life of a black man, and share those experiences with just about anyone. The Black Man Simulator, the way I uh, designed the system architecture, it has a few components. It has a display system, um, Currently, I have the Oculus Rift DK2 as the display system. It's a head-mounted display. It has a computer which will generate the content, either a virtual environment or it'll play a video or a short film of a live action video. Um, there's also some software in the back end to do some video editing. And then I have two potential methods of developing content. One method would be to use a 360 degree uh, attachment to capture and create a 360 degree video. So I, would, I plan to use three iPhones with these attachments to capture a 360 degree video. And what that will allow me to do is record a video and I'll be able to see everything around it and also look around. So with this, three, um, with this head mounted display, I'll be able to look anywhere in the video that's playing. So that's one technology that will be used. And then the second option I have, and it's part of the development process, will, to use, will, will be to use a video game engine such as the Unreal Engine or Unity 3D or um, what's the other one, Quake Engine, to create a, a game-like environment, a synthetic environment which I'll put in uh, NPCs, these are non-playing characters, are animated, augmented, sorry, um, um, characters that use artificial intelligence to interact and drop the, the user, someone like me or someone like you, into this environment and pretty much give them game-like controls. The Black Man Simulator is designed for just about anyone. I don't have any limitations on um, who the experiences are for. So for example, uh, white men, white women, black women, and even other black men. Um, as a black man, I, I grew up in a pretty uh, decent um, average home in Florida, but there are other experiences that I can probably learn from. When, when talking with um, individuals out there, one story, one experience that caught my attention was when a gentleman shared the challenges he's facing while trying to gain custody of his children. That was something I, I had never thought of as a, that um, I never thought of for, as a challenge for a black man. So I'm really excited about the prospects and the capability of the, of the Black Man Simulator. It really is a prototype for a new type of experience, a new type of device. 
where yes, right now I'm pioneering the techniques I would use in filming and creating content and pioneering the technologies of virtual reality and applying them to human experiences. But with that, I can expand it to just about any experience we, we have out there. I can put these cameras on the back of motorcycles. I can put these cameras in a drone and fly it around. I can put these cameras on the physical persons of a ballerina, a construction worker, just about anybody out there, whatever experience that needs to be told, needs to be shared. Um, so this is just this is this is just the beginning. The scalability is limitless. Uh, the price of the technology is coming down, and it is one of my goals to get the price of the entire setup under two or three hundred dollars. You know, really, really affordable. Um, one thing that kind of surprised me is when I took this out to uh, McNair Elementary, it's a magnet school, an academy, and I, the kids uh, had an opportunity to go into the virtual environment and they really, really enjoyed uh, the experience. So again, we can use it to help share whatever knowledge, share whatever experience, and it's an easy technology which makes the information and content easily consumed.